I don't know why I look so tired, but we're just gonna roll with it. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sarah. How you doing? Today, I'm gonna be talking about Crooked Kingdom, which I finally, finally, finally got around to reading. I read Six of Crows, I think in 2020, but honestly, it might have been 2019. I have been waiting to read Crooked Kingdom for forever. For those of you who don't know, Crooked Kingdom is the sequel to Six of Crows, and it's by Leigh Bardugo. If you don't know who Leigh Bardugo is, she wrote the Shadow and Bone trilogy, and she also wrote Six of Crows, and Ninth House, or House of Ninth, or something, and Lore, I think. And she's written a lot of stuff, and I haven't officially caught up with all of Leigh Bardugo's stuff. I do really like her though. I am very excited to keep reading Leigh Bardugo. I really enjoyed Crooked Kingdom and I really enjoyed Six of Crows as well. I'm not going to give a summary because it's a sequel. We're just going to dive right into it. So if you didn't read Crooked Kingdom, you don't want to be spoiled. How about now? But if you did, stick around because we're going to talk about everything that happened and all the crazy wild events that we need to discuss. Okay, Crooked Kingdom, what did we think, you guys? I knew, I knew going in that there was going to be a lot more character development, and Lei did not disappoint, or is it Lee? I don't know how to say her name. She did not disappoint, however you say it. She did such a good job developing Kaz, and Inej, and Matthias, and Nina, and Jesper. Like, it was all so good, and I loved seeing our crows with their new heist, and I loved getting to know them better. It was so wonderful, and it was especially wonderful for me because I watched the Shadow and Bone series. I Netflix, which I also reviewed. Yes, I did. I will link it for you in the description down below. But I reviewed that and I watched that and I really enjoyed seeing them on screen and getting to know those characters. So reading Crooked Kingdom was kind of like a refresher and a jump back into the old days of Shadow and Bone. It was so exciting and so wonderful and I loved having those images from the TV show in my head when I was reading Crooked Kingdom of like the actors that portrayed them because I thought the actors did a great job in the show. But as far as the events for this book, I felt like I was on a roller coaster the entire time. I was being pulled one way and then pulled the other. Is Kaz and Inej gonna happen? Is Matthias gonna make it? My god! And it was just like so many emotions and it was so wonderful. At the beginning when Inej is captured and she's like, oh I'm just gonna like starve myself and slip through the vent and then it doesn't work and then the guy, I can't remember who captured her, if it was Roland's or the other guy, but she, he was gonna break her legs Oh my gosh, I gasped out loud. And then Inej is finally like, I'm no use to him if you break me. And it like hits her as well as the guy that's torturing her that that's like fully true. So well done. Jesper and Waylon were adorable. I really, really liked them. And I liked how Waylon, you know, can't read. And Jesper helps him with that. And how that came into such a big part of the book at the end when he's like reciting the um, script that the council gave him. And they made his dad look like he was crazy. That was awesome. And it just the full circle of it all. I love when things and stories and threads and plot lines, they all come full circle, which is how it should be. But a lot of times in big, you know, like well thought out high concept fantasy worlds, all the strings don't always get attached. But Leigh does a really good job of connecting all the dots. Okay, I gotta admit, Nina and Matthias, least favorite characters, which is sad, but true. And what ended up happening at the end with Matthias was obviously very sad, but honestly, I was kind of like, well, if one of them had to go, like he was my least favorite anyway. I think I just said in a video not too long ago that I was reading Crooked Kingdom and I enjoyed all the points of view, even though Matthias was definitely my least favorite. I did not know that Matthias was a goner at that point, but honestly, like if one was going to leave, I was fine with it being Matthias. And then that also transitioned Nina to like leave the crows and go off on her duty to like pay ode to Matthias and bury him in ice which I just love the whole Fjordan like culture of like wolves and ice and snow I think that's super cool but anyway if someone had to die I'm glad it was Matthias and not like Inej because I was really worried and I was also worried Kaz was gonna die I mean I was pretty sure he wasn't but you know Sometimes you never know. And speaking of Inej and Kaz, I loved them so much. The scene where he was fixing her bandages and like can't didn't want to touch her, but had to. So good. And I loved the backstory of Kaz with Jordy. Like everything was just so well thought out and like everything that the audience wanted to know, we ended up getting that information. And it was really fantastic. The only thing I must say, I really, really wanted that kiss between Kaz and Inej. I really thought it was coming. I really did. And then it didn't come and I was really sad, but it, it's okay. I'm over it. 
not really. I'm kind of over it. Ow. I'm kind of over it. I don't know. I wanted a kiss. We didn't get a kiss. A little sour about it, but whatever. But the crows get all of their money, and then we have Kaz and Inej at the end again, like my couple. So proud of them. And he buys her that ship, and then her family is there. That was a huge surprise. I did not expect that to come out of that scene. And I loved it. And she goes running to them. And she's like, Mama, Papa, oh my gosh. Like, Inej from the beginning has been my favorite. And seeing her finally get that story, like, completion was so satisfying. I hope we get to see this on Netflix. Obviously, in the direction we're heading, we will. But since they're weaving it into Shadow and Bone, I don't really know. I know season two is coming for Shadow and Bone. So hopefully, they will not write out the crows. I think the crows are the more popular part of that Shadow and Bone, like, series on Netflix. I think people really like the heist aspect of it. So hopefully we get through the entirety of Crooked Kingdom like in that Shadow and Bone series on Netflix. But what did you think of Crooked Kingdom? I would love to hear from you. Tell me in the comments down below. Do you wish Kaz and Inej had like had more of a little bit of romance or do you think it was fine the way it was? Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. If you are new here, click the subscribe button because I make new videos every Thursday and click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. If you want to follow me over on social media, on Instagram, I am at the underscore writing corner. And if you want to follow me on either Twitter or TikTok, it is at Sarah M. Caroline and that's Sarah with an H. I hope you have a great week. I will see you next week for Thanksgiving. Bye!